Hi and welcome to this lecture. In this lecture we are going to learn about memory in our FedEx PLC programming software when Proletter. What memories are, what are internal relays, memories actually are known as internal relays. So here we will select a new project uh, for doing practice of memories. How many type of memories we have and we can use here in this PLC programming software. So here you can see internal relays which means memories. It it represent by M and means we will use M as we use X for input, Y for output. So we use M for it means uh, we are using internal relays. So here we have some retentive internal relays as well as non retentive internal relays. We also have some special relays which we use uh, for a specific purpose. So let me explain here the internal relays we have. Well internal relay means as we have a physical relay outside the software. So the same purpose of this relay but it is actually internal relay. So here non retentive is starting from M0 to M799 so we will use M0 here. So let me practice and use this relay here. Here is our output input uh, which is our on button and here is a coil. Now in this coil I'm gonna use about uh, memories here right then I will use this memory to uh, switching my other terminals right so here I have selected M0 and I have clicked here now this circuit means when I will click when I will switch on this X0 um, our M0 coil which is internal relay coil will be switched on will be energized now I said when my uh, M0 will energize when my M0 will energize uh, switch on Y0 as well as uh, another relay another uh, Y1 for example right here I am saying that uh, when I will click, when I will switch on my power uh, from X0, um, our M0 relay will be switched on. And when this M0 relay will be switched on, our terminal number Y0 and Y1 should be switched on. And uh, so let me check here how it is working here. Um, run PLC it's a normal and when you will click on on button so you can see your M0 is switched on and M0 terminal uh, norm, uh, normally open terminal of M0 is switched is uh, switching Y0 and Y1 terminal which is our output when I will click off this all is switched off now I I'm going to use uh, normally closed terminal of this M0 uh, relay here. M oh, all right. So here is our M0 normally closed terminal of this M0. It is actually one relay we are using to switching different outputs. So that's why we use uh, internal relays, and it's very uh, I mean uh, very famous and we use most of the time in our PLC programming so here is uh, I'm saying that when uh, no I it's actually Y2 here now I in this program I'm saying that when I will click when I will switch on this X0 terminal here when I will supply power to X0 our M0 will be switched on and when our M0 will be switched on these two outputs should be on switched on but here what I am saying that when this t this uh, 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 relay M0 which is M0 this relay is not energized mode 
so our Y2 should be switched on and when it energizes because if when relay energizes it change its terminal physically as well as internally so here uh, when this M0 will energize this normally closed terminal will become normally open right this this uh, this this terminal will open the circuit and it will be switched off and as like this will change the terminal uh, so it will switch on so here we are going to simulate it and as you can see it is M0 is uh, not energized mode here but it's M0 normally closed terminal is because switched on so Y0 is Y2 is energized here we have when I will switch on this M0 terminal uh, M0 relay so you can see M0 uh, the normally closed terminal is open the circuit and the normally open terminal is close the circuit and it energizes these two outputs we have right so that's how we can use our uh, uh, our memories here in the PLC programming our internally release so here I'm going to all right stop PLC first and simulation and then you can go anywhere you want okay and here is relay we have non retentive we are actually using M0 relay which is non retentive which means it will lose its value when I switched off the PLC right so here we have some retentive memories as well uh, which is start from M800 so let me use M800 here M800 M800 here and M800 alright so now we are using retentive memories run your PLC as you can see uh, here we have um, normally close terminal of the M800 P uh, relay is switching the Y2 terminal we have alright so let me switch on here now when um, it, it is because switched on and it is just switching the Y0 and Y1 terminal of our PLC let me s stop the PLC here and end simulation right when I switched on my PLC start simulation it is you can see it is started from where I left it right so that's the meaning of retentive and non-retentive we have that's a very simple program we have used you can also download this program um, I will upload this program to the link below and you can download from there so I hope you have understood about the relays why we use relays because as we use in electrical circuit physically so we use here internally as well so that's the purpose of the relays we because we can use the terminals normally open and normally closed terminals of this one relay internally to operate different type of outputs we have so that's all about memories I hope you have understood about memories thank you